Do you hear this thing? I gotta fix this. Hey there, I'm Danny with Danny's Custom Builds, and welcome back. If this is your first time to the channel, this channel centered around how-to videos, new PC hardware tech reviews, and sometimes full PC builds. Today I'm going to be upgrading the ASRock Desk Mini that I built recently. If you want to check out the video for this, I'll leave a link up in the YouTube card. The computer was a little louder than I had liked, so I looked around at different cooling solutions to see if I could get this quieted down. I ended up finding three different fan combinations that I could try in here. It's a smaller form factor, actually it's the smallest form factor I've ever seen for an actual computer, and uh, there wasn't really a whole lot of options. So let's check them out. Okay, so the first cooler that I ended up using is the near silent 65 watt box cooler that came with the ASRock Desk Mini. Um, it works fine as far as temps and everything, but the noise level was really loud. I don't know if you heard the intro to the video, the whine that comes from it, but it was driving me insane. It's at idle speeds, the whine is, is unbearable. Um, the second one that I ended up trying out is the AMD Wraith Stealth. It comes with your processor with the 3200G or the 2200G if you so choose those. It has to have a little bit of modification as you'll see in the clip later, but it will fit once you take the shroud off of it. You can slide it in underneath the, the case. And then finally, the last one I ended up trying is the Noctua L9A. The L9i is the Intel variant. Make sure if you're looking into this cooler, you get the L9a for AMD if you're using an AMD processor. This is set up for all AM4 sockets. Um, and this is the Chromax version, which is the black fan and black housing. They also have the standard version with Noctua's brown and tan colors. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. I'll just get right into it then. Let's throw these fans on and see what it looks like. Of course, I already had the near silent 65 watt AMD box cooler installed. Now we're going to move on to the Wraith Stealth. Getting this cooler to fit clearance wise into the case is quite a job. You actually have to pull up on the metal housing of the case just to get the Wraith Stealth underneath it.
Installation of the Noctua L9H requires removal of the motherboard to install their backplate that comes with it. It's just a few more steps though. All the fit and finish on Noctua's parts is actually very high quality. That's one of the reasons why I went with them over the AMD choices. Now that we're done, let's get a quick sound comparison of these fans. Unfortunately, I messed up the sound for the Wraith Stealth, and I don't have a sample of that. But here's the L9A for comparison, and you can see the difference is night and day. Here's our temperatures for all three fans tested. I ran a Blender CPU test and also a Unigen Heaven GPU test. The temperatures dropped progressively with each increased upgrade. Okay, I'd call this modification a success since I wanted to get rid of the noise on my desk mini and in the process I ended up dropping temps a little bit along the way. The $50 price tag for the Noctua L9A is honestly worth every penny in my opinion. Like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, that wine that the fan has at idle is just unbearable for the box fan. The AMD fan that comes out of the box is good, but as you can see, it's right up against the case and I wanted a little bit more clearance to create better airflow and stuff. Um, and it, it just keeps the noise levels across both fans that I've tested and then the Noctua. It's, it's the best performing fan in my opinion. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell notification so you'll know when the next video gets posted. And as always, I'll see you then.